Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will demonstrate Evoto version 3.8. So what's new on version 3.8? Dodge and burn. Achieve true commercial grade skin retouching with this feature. Trained on authentic dodge and burn effects, Evoto allows for separate adjustments of depth and smoothness. This maintains skin texture while reshaping light and shadow on the skin to ensure seamless transitions between areas. Solid backdrop distractions removal. Automatically checks for clutter and backdrop distractions in photos. Save your pictures with one click to remove and fill unwanted elements. Naming with clipboard content. When in tethered shooting, set the file name format to clipboard content, sequence. This automatically names images according to the clipboard content while shooting. No AI reshape. AI reshape effects have been significantly upgraded, providing a more natural look based on bone structure and better adjustments for photos of multiple people. Updates and optimization. Skin smoothing algorithm is optimized to correct collarbone misadjustments. Added three new looks for more colorful toning options. Backdrop changer now supports images containing only clothing or pets. For this video, we will focus mainly on the three exciting new features, which are dodge and burn, solid backdrop distractions removal, and the new AI reshape function. So let's start with this first image. Then we go to the skin retouching section. Then we have this new slider called Sculpt with Dodge and Burn. Let's set it all the way to 100 and see what it looks like. Before, after, before, after. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. Obviously, this is way too much, so let's decrease it to about 60. Now it looks much better. Let's set the facial features and facial contour sliders all the way to 100. Before, after, before, after. Okay, not bad. What if we set them both to zero? Before, after, before, after. Okay, it did not do anything. Let's set the facial features to 40. Okay, the effect is subtle. Now let's set the facial features to 100. Okay, now we can see the effect. Now let's set the facial contour to 30. Still not much effect is visible. Let's set to the default 80. Okay, now we're seeing the sculpting on the face. Let's set the facial features back to default 80. Okay, in my opinion, the default 80 values for both sliders are acceptable. Let's try it now on this image. Then we set the sculpt with dodge and burn slider all the way to 100 so we can see the effect. The effect is too strong, so let's decrease it to 60. Now it looks much better. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. Okay, I'm happy with this. And for our last example, again, let's start with 100. And if it's way too much, 60 appears to be the sweet spot. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. Okay, this looks great. Okay, so the next exciting new feature is the solid backdrop distractions removal. Let's test it on this image. So we go to the background adjustments section right here. And here we can see the distractions removal switch. Let's enable it. Oh wow, that definitely did an amazing job extending the backdrop and removing the distractions. I am super impressed. This is truly a game changer. Now let's try it on this image. Again, we toggle the distractions removal switch right here. Wait for a few seconds and... That's it. This feature is super awesome. I no longer need to go to Photoshop to extend the background. Then of course we also need to enable the clean backdrop and color banding removal function. And that's it. We have a nice, clean, seamless backdrop in just a few seconds. Okay, let's try it one last time on this image right here. Again, we toggle the distractions removal function. And that's it. It not only removed the distractions, but it did it super quick. Then again, we need to enable the clean backdrop and color banding removal function to finish editing this image. As a studio photographer, this is one of the best Evoto updates in my opinion. And for the last function, let's test out the new body reshape. So we have this image right here. Then we go to the full body reshape section. And we have this new AI reshape slider. Let's set it at 10 and see what happens. Okay, that's subtle. 
But what if we set it all the way to 100? Oh no, I don't think this is right. So instead of going with positive values, we should go with negative. Let's start with negative 10. Okay, now we're talking. Let's set it all the way to negative 100 just out of curiosity. Okay, this does not look right at all. Probably around negative 30 is acceptable. Okay, yes, I like this. Then we can go to the facial reshape section and slim down the face as well. Okay, this looks nice. Let's zoom in. Alright, that should do it for this image. Now let's try it on this image where the subject is sitting down. Let me just slim down the face real quick. Then we go to the full body reshape section and set it to negative 30 which is the sweet spot. Okay, looking good. Let's zoom in. Okay, so yeah, it did a pretty good job slimming down her face and body. And for our third and last example, let's use the new AI reshape once more. And as you can see, while I drag the slider to the left, there is a preview on how the body is being slimmed down. And I'm sticking to negative 30 which looks more natural. So those are the prominent new features in Evoto version 3.8. I really love this release. It is no doubt very helpful for us photo editors and retouchers. Click the link in the video description and try Evoto for free and get 30 free credits. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. Subscribe for more Evoto AI videos like this and click the bell icon to turn on notifications. I'll see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.